everybody it is me curtis from what you cook and glenda and you're watching another episode of what you cook and glenda if you would like to be part of the g squad all you have to do is click the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a brand new video now on today's video as you can see what you cook and glenda is not in the kitchen i am and today we are making chicken nuggets fried chicken nuggets and fries all right so make sure you like comment share and subscribe and let's get into this recipe because it's going to be sanctified amen amen let's go and chop all right y'all so now we are here at what i call the cutting board okay so I have three boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. Three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And yes, my hands are clean. All right. Before y'all try to come flame me in the comments. I saw you I'm about to start typing. All right. So what we're going to do, I have a knife here. Um, if you are allowing other people to do this, uh, make sure that you um, like monitor them. But anyways, um, so all you're going to do to start off, so you're gonna cut these into strips. All right, so you're gonna cut them like chicken tender strips. You know, you're gonna cut them into strips. Okay, just like that. You're gonna cut them into strips. And you're gonna set them off to the side because we're gonna cut them again. All right. Say whatever and I would never Y'all. Got gotcha. y'all. Okay. So for the people in the back that wasn't paying attention the first time, you're gonna take you're gonna take it, cut it into tenders or into strips. And then you're gonna take it, cut it into medium sized chunks. Now if your chicken's still a tad bit frozen like mine, it's gonna be alright. It's still gonna cook the same, we're gonna still eat it the same. It's gonna be all right. So in the medium sized chunks. Just like so. And then put it into your bowl and get it ready for the next step. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, like I said, there's gonna be one more step before you put them to uh, the fire, to the oil. We're gonna take some of this buttermilk, some boarded country store cultured whole buttermilk, all right? You can get this at your local grocery store. Okay, and what we're gonna do we're gonna pour enough buttermilk in there just to cover, not cover cover, but just like to get it all in there. And you're just gonna work, work it in there. My hands are clean for the ones that are just now starting to tune in because some of y'all wasn't paying attention at first. I'm just pulling off this fat. This fat got a little, it's a little too much, a little too much on that right there. You see that? That's not good. I don't like that. All right. So just work it in there. And you're going to leave them to sit. Uh, I'm going to say. Maybe five minutes. Just let them sit for like five minutes. To let the buttermilk. Get all in there. And, get, and let it get sanctified and holy. Filled with the Holy Ghost all up and through there. Amen. Just work it in there and let it sit for about five minutes to let the spirit of the lord get in it and we'll be right back to show you the next step amen it's all-purpose flour and you can season it with the quad and um, paprika and chili powder and whatever you want to season it with you can season it with that okay so it's been a little over five minutes since 
Uh, we have last checked on our chicken children. And now we're gonna take a, um, some tongs, Lord help. Some tongs, and we are going to just put them into our, put our nuggets into our, um, chicken fry. We're just gonna put our nuggets in our chicken fry. Then, with your freshly clean hands, this is about the third time we've been cleaning our hands, maybe fourth if you cleaned it before you started, uh, if you started cooking, before you started cooking, that was me. Um, then, all you do is roll them on in there, get them all fully coated with the chicken fry. Uh, mix or your all-purpose flour, your seasoned flour. But you can season it however you like. So, now we are going to put these into our oil, but let's check this oil that's been heating up on a medium heat. Ooh, it's sanctified and holy now. It is sanctified and holy. So it is, ooh, there goes the light. So it has been, the um, the oil is uh, peanut oil and extra virgin olive oil, and it has been heating up for a minute on medium heat. And I just threw a little bit of this uh, flour, this not flour, the chicken fry, into the um, into the oil to make sure that it was to see if it was hot enough. Let's put this back on to see if it was hot enough. So we're gonna put our chicken in, put our chicken nuggets into our oil. And you're gonna cook these on your medium heat until the chicken is done. Make sure you do not overcrowd the pan because you want all of these uh, chicken nuggets to cook evenly. Please do not overcrowd your pan because if you do and you say that you got the recipe for me, I'm gonna say I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? So you're just going to put the chicken nuggets into the I have the big girl out, so I'm able to fit a lot of chicken nuggets into the pan. But, you know, to each its own, but depending on the size of your pan, Please do not overcrowd your pans. Amen? Amen. That's the word of the Lord on today. Do not overcrowd the pan. You can see how they're rising up, but you gotta keep them in there. You gotta keep them. You gotta keep them in the race. Standing strong. Doing the will of the Lord. Which is for them to be eaten. That's the will. That is the will of the Lord for their life right now. So you're gonna cook them until the chicken is done or until the oil becomes quiet. And even then leaving it in there for an extra five minutes would not hurt. But you just gotta make sure that that chicken is done because we don't want people getting food poisoning from your food and they be talking about you. We don't eat that. That chicken was still clucking. We don't need We don't need that being talked about. So I just put the next I just put the next batch more help today. I just put the next batch into our flour so that it is prepared for us to put into our oil. Now once your chicken is done you're gonna get a sheet or a cookie sheet or a cooling rack and you're just going to put a paper towel or a towel uh, over it and you're going to set your chicken on there all right i'm gonna i'm gonna show you that once the chicken is done i will talk to y'all once the chicken has been fully fully baptized in the oil of the lord amen show y'all because we still got to flip them now we have some little pieces in here, but we gotta make sure we flip these. Flip them over, making sure that they're that the 
they don't just cook on one side for that all sides to get it because you're not just gonna eat one side of the chicken. <laughs> Amen. You're not gonna eat one side. So just gonna take it and flip it over. We're gonna let them cook on this side. We're gonna make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Not, I can't emphasize that enough. Nobody wants to eat raw chicken. You need to cook it all the way through. Amen? All right, y'all. So we're back, and the chicken is done. Um, correction is that you just wanna cook these until they're nice and golden brown. Oh, look at that one. Oh, come on, Jesus. Come on, be a fence in there. Come on now. Look at this. Let's see if we can get this in the camera view. Look at that. Look at those chicken nuggets. The Lord has declared them chicken nuggets. Amen. So, you're going to set these on a paper towel lined sheet of your choice or a uh, cookie sheet. I mean, or a um, cooling rack. I'm choosing paper towel to get the oil off of it. Because they are not singing no more. They ain't singing the songs of the Lord. They quiet. So cook them until they're nice and golden brown and they have become quiet. Make it sure there's none, none more. No more left in there. And we're gonna go right on back in with our second batch, being as careful as possible. Like I said, this is a good um, dish to make with your family, with all the kids and the grandmamas and the aunties and the uncles and, and everybody uh, that's in the household. You can make this dish with everybody. All right, just just know that if you're gonna let your kids cut up anything, you better be monitoring them. Amen. You best you best be monitoring. All right. So I'm gonna put these in there into the pan, put the rest of them into the pan, and I'll be right back because my battery's about to die. All right, all I'll right, be right back. So here is our finished chicken right here. And here's our Tony Chef Cherries. And all I'm gonna do is sprinkle. So sprinkle a little bit of Tony Chef Cherries on the chicken just to give it a little extra kick because Tony Chef Cherries does have a little bit of kick. A little bit of spice. All right, it's time for the taste test. Let's do, let's do this one. You are the chosen one. All right, here it is. Y'all take y'all's bite. Oh wait a minute! Come on now. Look at, look at the crust. Glory! Look at the crust. All right. Huh? Oh. Eat up all this stuff myself. I ain't gonna do that, y'all. But y'all look. Ooh. Glory be to God. I told you, Cheshire did something right now. 
And so they said she brought out all the flavors from the from the chicken fry mix. I'm gonna to smack it a little bit. <laughs> we brought out all the flavor from the chicken fry mix. And it even brought its own flavor, its own little spice, because you know it got the little kick right, yeah, right on back up and through there. Mm hmm. It just sanctified the whole dish. Woo! Glory be to God. I can't wait till these other ones get out of this pool, the pool of Bethesda, so that, so that they can be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Ooh, glory. And then we can, then we can get the french fries in there. Amen. So let me show y'all the french fries before we get to that point. Move this, move this goodness out of the way. So today we are using the Orida Golden uh, Crinkle Cut french fries you can get these at your local grocery store as well just as you can get your Tony Sheshery slap your mama you can put whatever on it okay and this Tony Sheshery make you want to slap your mama but I don't want to do that um anyways so <laughs> so um when we come back I'm going to uh, have the chicken all done and we're gonna do the french fries, all right? Amen? Amen. All right, y'all, so we are back. And it is time, because we've already taken out the, the uh, chicken, the last batch of chicken. And now it is time to put in our french fries. Now, the french fries are still slightly frozen, but that is perfectly fine. Um, make sure that you have your oil down to a low and that's the low is just to make sure that the fire don't come back on you what it's gonna do just about half the bag once they go in there, the oil will cool down some, so then you can pull it back up to a medium heat. And then just make sure that they're all in there. And the same applies to the french fries. Until they are golden brown, once they are golden brown and they stop singing, then you are good to go. Um, same applies for, just as for the chicken, same applies for the uh, french fries. I have a strainer here that is paper towel lined. Uh, you can use a cookie sheet, cooling rack, whatever you wish to um, put your french fries on. And then I will show you what I do next with these french fries after they come out, the, out, of, the, out of the oil. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> Alright y'all, so we are back. Um, I'm back just about halfway. I wanted to come back and show you the flip. They are uh, very limp uh, at this point, but I like to cook them until they're crispy. That's why I said until they're golden brown. Uh, they are quiet, but that's because the oil is cooled down. That's why I have it up now on a medium high heat just to get the oil back up to temperature and to um, cook these suckers okay so cook them until they're golden brown and they you know stop all their singing so we are going to come back when it's time to take these out and then I'm gonna show you the seasonings I put on them and we'll be through with this video amen amen Alrighty y'all, so we are back and the french fries are completely done. So we're going to put that in our paper towel line strainer. I'm going to try to move pretty quickly because we have to do our seasonings while it's still hot.
in the end. All right. So now the last thing that we've got to do is put some salt and pepper on our french fries. So here are our french fries right here. Ooh. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of black pepper. Just a, a little sprinkle of black pepper. And a sprinkle of some kosher salt. And a sprinkle of some tony. And you just toss it all together. Get all the seasoning through. All off up and through that. Quick taste. You gotta make sure you taste your food, everybody. Taste your food. Oh, hot. But, look at that. Come on, y'all. Focus, focus, focus. There it is. And it's very, very crunchy. Not burnt crunchy, but like it got a little crisp on it. Crunchy. It was cooked. Perfection. Cooked all the way through. No frozen bits. The seasonings are perfect. Spot on. I did a good job and you did too because I'm pretty sure that you was cooking with me so make sure once again like comment share and subscribe okay this is a family dish make sure you cook this with your family and I will see you next time on another episode of what you cooking Glenda bye bye